Gosham, first grader from Melbourne Marcus Elementary School. Today, I'm going to be presenting a mobile phone for checkers. I always wanted kids to watch videos on a bigger screen. Before I start, how many kids here are allowed to watch in mobile phones? Not allowed, right? I often see kids not encouraged to watch in mobile phones. Parents are concerned or worried that watching in small screens could affect kids' eyes. So I thought through it if there is a solution for this. So that's why I created a mobile phone project. This is how my projector looks like. Do you know what a projector is? Do you know what it does? Basically, a projector is an optical device which can project project things project images or videos onto a surface it is largely used in movie theaters some people use it in big rooms so now i'm going to tell you the materials i use it's i only used a few materials foam sheets magnifying glass glue and of course now i'm going to explain you how i made this First, I took the foam sheet, I rolled it into a tunnel, mm. and then I attached it to another flat foam sheet. Same way, I made one more, mm. and I made sure it was smaller, so it can fit inside. The big one is for the magnifying glass, this the one inside is for the mobile phone. This projector can project on a white wall or a projector screen. Distance between the wall and the projector helps the big the screen get bigger and smaller. And if you move these two tunnels, it will adjust the screen. This project works better in a dark room, so I made a video. I'm not gonna tell you the challenges I faced. First, go it the video was displaying upside down so i had to revise a few details and i also had to flip the phone upside down and lock it now kids can watch videos on bigger screens and it feels like you're in a movie theater but in a fun way i had learned a lot in this project like how the light passes through the lens and how it displays on screen i also learned how what a focal point is focal dis what is a focal pin and what is a focal distance and I also learned how convex lens behaves for example if I bring the convex lens which is, which is known as a magnifying glass closer the image becomes big but if I bring it farther the image becomes small next steps it was fun making this project but I'm gonna make it a bit easier I'm gonna make it with a shoebox instead of foam now every kid can make their own projector and I'd be happy to answer more questions if you have any. Thanks to my dad who helped me do this project and thanks to MUST for this opportunity to showcase. And finally, thanks to all of you guys for watching me, my presentation. Bye.